Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. My name is Lauren. If you're new, hi, welcome. Yes, I'm looking crazy because I just curled my hair and I was thinking, what better way to test out makeup brushes than to actually apply makeup with them rather than just talk about them and show you. So I have a doll mail. You see it says doll mail. Their new packaging is so cute. So let's go into what I've actually bought from them. So I have the doll beauty brush set. You can see here it comes in a really cute case. This is not real leather. Hanger. And when you open it you have your brushes inside here. It also has a very, very, very cute doll beauty little tag thing. Zip, zipper pull is what we'll call it. So super cute brushes in here, kind of like a faux silk lining. We're gonna go into these brushes a little bit more in a minute. I also, what else did I get? Yes, can we talk about the doll beauty packaging? Hello, super, super cute. I also got a few lashes and I got like a diamond because I got this in a bundle. So if you ever shop on Doll Beauty, look out for the bundles. They do them again. I hope that didn't smash. Uh, they sometimes do bundles. So I did a bundle and the bundle was a pair of lashes, the brushes and a highlighter for £30. Bargain. Bargain, bargain, bargain. And I wanted these brushes for so long. I think these retail for £65 full price alone so when I seen the bundle I was like yes honey and my highlighter palette uh, just here which I'll show you again recommend this done a review on this I'll link it above I've actually finished the like a diamond well I've hit pan on like a diamond so I was like obviously I'll just get a replacement of like a diamond um, which is the highlighter here is called dull light really cute I think they've got new packaging now. I think this might be the new packaging for the highlighters. I'm not 100%, but I think it's the new packaging. The lashes that I got as well, I have a few different pairs of lashes from them. So I have, the lashes I bought with the bundle is the Esmeralda ones, which are like this. Now, actually, would you guys be interested in a Doll Beauty lash video where I'm trying on the lashes and you see all the different styles because I have the Esmeralda, the Samaya, Samaya, cute and then I also have, let's see, I've got another Samaya, um, Arabella style here, Arabella style and we also have the style of Betsy as well. These are still sealed, so let me just show you. This is the style Betsy. So I have got quite a few pairs of lashes actually. Oh, so maybe I'll do a lash video trying them all on. That, that could be fun. I, what I also got in this bundle is the Doll Beauty Bronzer. Now this is the Gimme Sun. This is the one I just dropped. And this is in the light shade here. And it's okay, surprisingly. So I already have the, I have the medium. So I'll show you the difference in the two. So you can see this is the light and the medium. They also do a medium deep and a I think they do two more shades as well of the bronzer. I think they're reformulating because I couldn't find the link on... I can't believe how crazy my hair looks. I couldn't find the link on the website for these. It's just blank. So whether they're reformulating or restocking, maybe they're going to change the packaging. I don't know. I think this packaging is cute. I hope they don't change it too much. But yeah. And again, I have another review of the bronzer with the a blusher link it here for you as well so you can click on that if you're interested today we're going to be focusing mainly on the brushes so let's get into the brush review 
I'm just going to put this scarf on so my hair is like less crazy because honestly it's a little bit too crazy. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Anyways, with that said, let's get into the brushes. So I'm going to take the first half, which is, I'm guessing, I think these are the face brushes here. So what I'm going to do is, I'm going to do a close-up of all the brushes so you can see them. How can I do this? So they all come individually wrapped. This is the first brush and they all have numbers on them right here. And this is DB1, which is obviously Doll Beauty 1. Now, just talking about the softness, these are very soft. Ooh. These are super soft. They appear to be like, let me just give this a good tug. I always like to give brushes a tug and I like to see if any of the bristles, you know, are loose in there. You shouldn't do this to your brushes, so don't do this to yours. I'm doing this for the review. They're very solidly attached in there. Now, one thing I know is that Doll Beauty is known for their, well, in my opinion, known for their quality. Apart from that one time with that one lash, but girl, we're not here to talk about this. Look in the videos if you know what I'm saying. Um, but I would say they're very securely attached. I'm just doing this to see if any of the hairs are going to come out. So this is DB, this is DB1, and I would say this would be used for a powder brush. Let's go on to, this is DB2. Again, it feels of a good quality build. This one is slightly angled, if you can see. See how it's angled? So it's supposed to fit the contours of your face. You can see that's DB2. DB3 is kind of just like a bit of a domey brush. So I guess it's a bit more powdery brush, or I guess maybe not powder. I guess you could use this for blush, like you could use this for blusher. Some people would use this for highlight. I probably wouldn't use this for highlight. Since having this brush here, this is a DB4. Now I already have this brush. Um, this came a while ago, I bought this. I would use a brush like this for highlight over a brush like this because it's bigger, it's fluffier. This is more dense, which makes, I don't know, I just find it too much. I prefer more of a lighter um, brush, you know? Anyways, so this is DB3. So this is DB4, which is the same as the highlight one that I've had as well. We've also got DB7, which again we use for concealer. And then there's DB6, which is fluffy brush. You can use that for eyeshadow. And then we've also got DB5, which again, you could use for eyeshadow for blending and stuff. What I might actually do is have one DB4 for highlighter and one for shadow because quite a big fluffy blender this is db4 this one is db5 and we have db6 And then we have DB7. Like a compact concealer or eyeshadow brush, I guess. Now we're going to move on to the second half of the bag. And this is more, oh, there's some more, oh! There are some more face brushes in here. I thought they would be, I thought they would all be on the other side, I guess not. So, oops. let's see, how many brushes do we get in total? 
You get 15 brushes in total in this set. This is DB8. It's kind of like a flat ended brush. This is great for cut creases. I think this is good for uh, when you want to apply underneath the eye in a direct point as well. So this is DB8. And then DB9, which is a fluffy little brush, which is great for eyeshadow. Nice little blender, nice little applique brush. And this is DB9. But DB10, which is a bigger brush. Now again, you could use this for highlight as well, actually. To be honest, I like this. See how it's more finely packed? Which means you're gonna get not a sheer coverage, but you're gonna get more of a blended coverage. I can't get over how soft these are. And then DB11 is actually a concealer brush. So what I said before about using a concealer brush, I put, I would actually use, oh, it's very stiffly packed. Oh, it's got some packing in there. There we go. I would use this for concealer brush. And this is DB11. And we've got four brushes left. So the next one we have is DB12. Obviously these are going in number order, so sorry if you're getting sick of me saying DB12. And this is kind of like just a little kind of fluffy one. You could use, this is for eyeshadow. And next we have DB13, which is a really thin, fine brush. So again, use for eyeshadow or detailing. Um, you could use this to detail the nose if you wanted to. This is DB13. DB14 is a very small, flat brush. I would use this for shadow. Cute and nice, we like this. Final brush we have. Yes, they all come individually wrapped, which is quite good because it keeps them safe and secure. Obviously, DB15, and this is like a small little, you know, brush brush. So, in total, these are what the brushes look like after I've kind of organized them. I would say you get. In my opinion, you get five face brushes and I would say about 10 eye brushes. Now remember, makeup brushes can be used for anything, literally anything. So just because someone says, oh, use this for this, doesn't mean you have to, you can use it for anything. You don't have to just stick to what people say. Makeup is fine and brushes should be used as tools to create whatever you want to create. So what I thought I would do now is I would gonna jump along in the video and I'm gonna apply my makeup and stuff. I'm gonna do all my foundation and everything. And when we get down to applying powders, I'm gonna switch these brushes and I'm gonna cut you in and show you. One eternity later. Okay, so I've laid down my foundation, my concealer, primer, all this jazz. I've done my, and I've set my concealer with the Born This Way powder. Um, anybody got any recommendations for under eye setting powder, please send them my way. When this is finished, I'm done with it. Like, it's a great powder, but I want to try something new. Like, always want to try something new. So now I'm going to set my face. And how cute is this little compact? This was my grandma's. And I just put a powder compact inside it. How cute. And this um, is the Max Factor powder. And I'm going to be trying the DB1. I'm going to use it to set my foundation. So let's see what's going on. So it picks up 
the product quite nicely. It's not clumping in one area. This is different to the powder brushes that I normally use. I normally use a powder brush that is like this size. Wow. Yeah, they are different. You can see. But. I think it's packing down quite nicely. Now, let's move on to some eye makeup. Why not try? It's nearly going to be like a whole doll beauty makeup tutorial. Why not try the Ice Sweet Treats palette from them with their brushes? So, I'm not going to do anything major, but let's give it a go with the blending. I'm just not going to do a whole tutorial. I'm just going to try out a few of the brushes, right? So, I'm going to go in with, this is DB7. And I'm going to pick up Ice and rush and I'm just going to apply this under my brow bone I would say that this definitely packs on the shadow quite well you can definitely see where there's no patchiness or gaps I'm impressed so far now let's take this really big fluffy this is DB4 and I'm going to go into Yum Yum to pick up some Yum Yum and Peach Sorbet. I'm just going to gently caress that into the lid. That was so easy and that was so effortless. Fab, just giving a little bit of a soft blown out moment. Oh. Now let's go into, ah, do you know what I've realized? I didn't use the concealer brush. I should have used the concealer brush. Oh well. I'm gonna go into, um, what brush should we try? Okay, let's, this is DB9. So we'll try, and I will go into, it's called Custard Tart this really kind of bright yellow and we will just apply this on the inner part of my lid I want to do something really simple just so we can see the brushes Ooh, I love 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 these colors and I love these brushes I'm impressed like this is not a flop this is a win and this is if you get in a bundle really good value I mean I would say for the amount you get it's a good starter kit as well like a good kit a good starter set if you were just kind of trying out starting out in makeup and you needed some good brushes this would be a good place to start I'm gonna use DB3 and I'm just gonna brush off all that bake from underneath my eyes Right, I mean, are people still baking? I've no idea, but I will bake till I'm 196 because I love baking. And I'm taking a brush, which is DB8, and I'm dipping into peach sorbet just on the tip. Now I'm going to take this underneath my eye. Hopefully this brush will be suitable for this. Yeah. And then you're just kind of working it along it's like a really thin brush and I'm just gonna be pressing this along the lower lash line just where the kind of larger brush can't really access because it's so big and we'll do the same on this side and I'll do the same just tapping along the lash line going to take this very small what is this db14 no i'm not going to take this i'm going to take 
Yes, I'll take DB14 and we're going to go into that custard tart. And I'm just going to apply that underneath there. Just like that. And then I'm going to take these even smaller one, which is DB15. And I'm going to go into ice. And I'm just going to put that right on my tear duct here. Just there. Ooh, it's kind of mixed with the yellow a bit. It looks okay. And we're doing this just to add a bit of a highlight on the inner corner. That looks okay. The yellow mixed with it a little bit more than I wanted it to, but it's okay because it adds a bit of shimmer to the look. Okay, cute. I'm impressed with the eye with the eye brushes. Now the next test is gonna be bronzer and blush. The only thing I would say with this brush set is you are missing a few other kind of core makeup brushes. For an example, um, like an eyebrow spoolie or a lash spoolie, you know, like the little combs and an angle brush for eyebrows. That would be all you're missing, I would think. Um, and obviously like eyeliner brushes if you do, if you, you, if you do use that. But most people I know tend to use either the eyeliner applique um, or if you're a professional, they tend to either have disposable ones or I don't know. But I would say that's what they're missing. If you can think of any brushes that you use that you think are missing, comment down below because I rich literally can't think of any of the ones that I use that are missing right now. So this is DB2. And I'm going to go into the Doll Beauty. Uh... Gimme Sun in the light shade. And again, this is the angle brush. Just gonna make sure my scarf is out the way. Oh, this shade is nice. I already have the medium, but I find it a little bit dark for daytime. Oh. Okay, I really like how these are applying. It's going on smooth, it's going on flawless. Not missing any chunks or like bittiness. And it's soft on my cheek. Okay, this is a win. Now let's go into highlighter. Obviously I'll use Doll Beauty, da. And... I want to use my DB4. Let me just see because I swear my DB4 looks more fluffy. Actually, scratch that. They are the same. So I'm going to take my other DB. Actually, no, do you know what? Let's. We're reviewing the ones that came in the kit. So let's do. This is DB10. And I am going to go into. I think I'm going to shine bright, which is this one just here. Okay, now I enjoy this brush, but do I prefer my DB4 to this? Yes. I don't know, I just prefer the way it goes on. I feel like it's more direct. So the DB4, I prefer over the DB10 for this. But you could use this for something else, I guess. Yeah. Now let's go on to some blush, honey. Oops. Let's just go in with the Dong Beauty because this is what I'm using today. And I'm going to go, I'm going to try the DB10 for blush instead. So this is Dollar Day. better. Yes, I prefer this brush for blusher. Definitely prefer this blush. Blush, this brush for blush. Perfect. And look at this kimchi mirror, like it has lights on it. Super cute, review coming soon. So I'm going to finish the rest of my makeup and then I will come back and I will give you my final thoughts. 
So, I finished my makeup. I've taken my hair out. What do you guys think? Are you into it? All these brushes here, I love them. I enjoyed using them. It's trial and error, figuring out what goes with what thing you want to do with it. But I would definitely say that I do recommend these brushes. And I think they're really great for beginners. So if you are interested in these brushes, I will link them below. I'm not sponsored. I'm not affiliated. Don't you see, please notice me. Sponsor me, honey, because girl, I love your products. If you're wondering what I'm wearing on my eyes, I am wearing the Doll Beauty Betsy lashes. And on my lips, I have the Too Faced Melted Matte Feeling Myself. Finished with a Dior lip gloss. This is in the Ultra Gloss or the Addict Gloss. And this is in 576. So that's what I have on if you were interested. As always, guys, thank you so much for watching. I really appreciate you coming around while I got ready today. But as always, I really appreciate you being around. And until next time, take care. Give me a like if you enjoyed it. And I'll see you all very soon. Mwah! Bye, my loves.